Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm here to show you the new feature in Dorico 3.5 that allows you to input notes specifying the pitch before locking in the duration. Until now, the only way to input notes in Dorico was to first choose a duration and then click or type the pitch to make the note appear. Many people like having the option to do this the other way round, and it's now possible in Dorico by way of this new toolbox button or by pressing the key command K. With pitch before duration enabled, when you type or play a note, you see a shadow note on the carrot, and you can freely change that note either by typing different pitch names, using Alt and the up and down arrow keys, or by playing different notes on your MIDI keyboard. Once you have decided on the note you wish to input, click the desired duration in the notes panel, or use the relevant key command, and the note is created. This gives you the freedom to experiment, especially when using a MIDI keyboard without the need to keep exiting note input. The other notes tools work as normal, for example, engage chord input when using a computer keyboard, or simply play chords on your MIDI keyboard. Because choosing a duration will commit a note, when creating tuplets, specify the tuplet unit in the popover for example, 3 in the time of 2, E for eighth notes. If you're not familiar with this method, which works with Dorico's legacy input method as well, you might find it's a real time saver when working with tuplets. If you think pitch before duration note input is going to be your preferred method of working in Dorico, you can set it to be the default. Open Preferences and switch to the Note Input and Editing category. Dorico's default is to specify pitch after duration, but you can choose before duration to always start projects with this new method active. You can always freely switch between the two input methods by toggling the Toolbox button or by pressing K whether Note Input is active or not. As an extension to this feature, We've also added this next option, which works with either method of note input. It allows you to add accidentals, rhythm dots, and articulations to notes immediately after they've been input, as opposed to having to set them before. For example, if I input this quarter note C, I can now sharpen it, make it dotted, and give it some articulations. I do hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.